What powers did April lose? Her special thingy, being a shifter. First, she didn't want to go back to Stark, and then, one day, she couldn't. Her powers went poof, and no one knows why. Ooh. What? What? Why did you go, ooh? Because it's spooky. Also, I like saying it. It makes my beak vibrate. You don't think she lost her powers because she felt her powers were the cause of her misery? It's... of course I... I wouldn't know what... huh? Seems to me that she was scared about facing reality again. And she decided that her powers would only bring more pain. So she lost them. Oh, oh, that's, uh, uh, psychology, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. You human females from Stark are really clever. So, hey, if we hit April with a really big frying pan, she'll come to her senses, right? What? No. Yes, yes, it's called therapy. I read about it somewhere. Well, not read, more like heard. In a seedy tavern near the docks? After eleven thimbles of Mary Minstrom's yellow fire? Just before dawn, on a Monday. But I remember the fella who told me. Big lad. Arms as thick as oak trees. A stunning collection of scars. Nice eye patch. A real therapist he was. Er, wait, maybe it was rapist. What's it like being a talking bird? My beak is a finely tuned instrument of love. When I speak, girls tremble. And also guys. Guys tremble too, but not in the same way. Right. It was nice chatting with you, Crow. It's been very informative. Glad to help, doll. Doll? Um... I mean, independent and self-reliant female person who's not an object to be ogled at or used solely for my own personal amusement and pleasure. <laughs>